Years ago, you told me to give up on you. Well, I'm a grown man now. A growing man. I have ripped from this vessel every part of you I could. Tried to find the capacity to move on as two separate people. After I realized that we weren't one anymore. See, when a heart breaks for the first time, it is difficult to pick up the pieces that are your own. They are as strange to you as anyone. Your mother or friend or whomever may pick one up as they will your eventual child and say, this looks so much like you. You will nod and agree despite how alien the face seems. The result is this patchwork heart with that ex-lover stitched into it. And each piece of that reminds you of how much you miss them. And you will hate the way it beats want to rip it out of your chest, because in there it feels a whole hell of a lot more like shrapnel than it does an afghan. Keeps you bleeding more than it keeps you warm. Even now, there are still parts of her I see in what I do. A bandage that is forward to the, forward, uh, formed to a scab and healed in this skin. The way I type goodnight in the last text message of every evening. The way I never throw away uh, a note someone gives me. Cleaning out my backpack at the end of the semester feels like filling every grave of those I hoped were still living. There are small bricks in the wall of my chest that I used to graffiti her name upon. It took me years to realize that they were staying there. It took me even more to wash the spray paint off. And I wonder, I wonder, how much of me has built you into you? Or anyone for that matter. Probably left an affinity for settling. Let all those girls grow increasingly okay with the idea that there may sometimes only be excuses. I am sometimes built of only excuses. Maybe there is one brick for how you mold verse, so that even when you promise to never write any more poetry about me, I am still smirking in each line. I hope only that you have grown equally one part patient and one part tired of my bullshit that you have learned from each one of our high rises and each one of my shortcomings and left knowing how you wanted to be loved. But I don't get to see that part of the movie. Whichever one of us is the main character here just, to keep, just gets to keep that to themselves or share it in front of strangers at a poetry slam. I don't even know why I wrote this. Maybe it's because I'm still hoping for a silver screen moment. One where you take me back. Even though 99.9% .9 of me knows that that would not be a good idea for either of us. But somewhere in here, this building of me, there was a romantic I've kept on life support. He slipped into a coma and is awaiting true love's kiss, or at least that's what he said before he closed his eyes. At this point, I don't even want to love you, or for you to love me. But I'll be here throwing bricks at his window. And I'd like if you could join. And then we can laugh as someone else has to pick up the pieces. Thank you.